Hey, what's going on guys? It's time again for another attachment pack update. For those who are unfamiliar, this is an update to my current work in progress mod, the attachment pack. A pack that aims to overhaul all of the vanilla weapons from every DLC and add a lot more to their customization options and hopefully make them a little bit more usable in game. It's been a little bit since we did one of these updates. Last time we talked about all of my work on the plasma rifle, but today we've got a lot to show off. Since the last update, Pig and I have actually finished two more weapons in the sandbox, both of which are heavy weapons. Today we'll be checking out the minigun and the Gatling laser, both of which have some really, really fun attachments that I'm very excited to show off. You should already see some B-roll playing now of some of the cool things, but of course we're going to go much more in depth here shortly. Before we go into it, I think it's important to re-clarify my mission for this pack. I'm sure a lot of you have some attachments you may be expecting or at the very least wanting for the minigun and the Gatling laser, but it's important to note that I have a pretty specific design philosophy for a lot of these attachments. A lot of people have been asking, are you going to make the minigun stronger, better, and just overall more usable? And we definitely did try to do that by adding some different options with the parts that we've included, but it's important to note that we're building this mod for the sake of compatibility. I want this mod to be able to be used with any other weapon overhaul you'd like. And so to be able to do that, we have to make it compatible, which means not editing too much of the weapon. So I tried to stick to the vanilla modification category. So for the minigun, that's going to mean the barrels, muzzles, and sights. And for the Gatling laser, we actually have a pretty good variety because we do have capacitors, barrels, muzzles, and sights as well. The weird thing about the minigun is that it doesn't have a receiver section, and I didn't want to add my own because there's already a lot of mods that do that, and if you want to be able to use this mod and that mod together, it would be pretty weird to have two separate receiver sections. So maybe I'll release a little expansion down the road that will add receiver sections if that's something you want and you want it to be done by me, otherwise there are a lot of mods that do it already. Instead, with my mod, you're going to get a handful of new barrel, muzzle, sights, and some interesting miscellaneous options that we worked in there that should be fully compatible with any other mod you decide to use. Now, that's just talking about balance and compatibility and all that fun stuff. When it comes to aesthetics, though, we have a lot of really cool options I'm excited to show off today. A lot of callbacks to classic weapons, not only from Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, but even all the way back to Fallout 1 and 2, so there's some really, really funny options here. Additionally, there's a couple of parts you may not expect to fit in with these weapons that we kind of cheesed into some of the categories. You'll see what I mean when we start talking about the minigun. I suppose we might as well take this thing in-game now. I'm sure you guys want to see these a little bit more in-depth. So let's go ahead and grab the minigun and take it over to a weapons workbench. So here we are in game with the minigun. What I'll be showing off today is 99% of what will be in the full release pack. There are one or two things missing and I'll talk about them when we get to them. It's just something I either completely forgot about or is nearly complete but not video ready yet. So starting with the minigun, we have the barrel section, which in the base game, I believe there's only three options, the standard barrel, accelerated barrel, and the tri-barrel. Well, now we've got a whole lot more. So, of course, there is the standard barrel and the accelerated barrel, but now we also have one of Pig's creations, the heavy barrel, which does borrow some niff-bashed assets from the assault rifle to add a much bigger option that does increase the damage quite a bit while reducing the fire rate. We also have the shielded barrel by Pig, which is going to be pretty similar. It's going to have increased damage, but it's also going to have increased fire rate, but the damage increase is not nearly as much as the heavy barrel. One of the new creations by me is the heavy 10 millimeter barrel, which is going to be pretty reminiscent of the shoulder mounted machine gun barrel from Fallout New Vegas. This one, this was Pig's idea here, does rechamber the weapon to 10 millimeter, and this thing will actually get a reduced fire rate. But the trade-off there is that there is no charge-up time for the weapon. So while it may seem like less damage overall, you'll be able to shoot this thing a lot faster. You don't have to charge up between each shot. And that's a pretty interesting mechanic. Then we have the recoil dampening barrel, which you may recognize as the Fallout 3 style barrel. This one is just going to give you a nice little buff to accuracy. And there is one small thing about this barrel. If you'll notice, the metal parts are really really shiny. It's because I'm using metals that were typically used on a lot of the other weapons in this game. For some reason, the minigun in Vanilla Fallout 4 is very dull and not metallic at all, so I may tweak these textures to be a little bit more in line with that in the future. It really just depends on what you guys think and how I feel about it, but we'll see. 
Then after that, we have the shrouded barrel, which is going to add a big barrel shroud to the end of this thing, pretty similar to real world miniguns that you might see. This one, again, same thing with the shininess of the metal. It's a little bit uh, too shiny. <laughs> I think it's too shiny compared to the rest of the gun, so I, I may be tweaking these. Uh, we have the tri-barrel, of course, from the vanilla game, and then we have what Pig has named the expedited barrel, which is totally not just four tri-barrels smashed together with a huge increase to fire rate and an increase to damage. Yeah, this is your alternative for a late-game barrel if you really want to spew out damage with the minigun and still have it be viable in higher levels. Now, believe it or not, we do actually have some attachments for the scope category. Now, this category is the only one that doesn't spin with the barrel. It's the only way you're able to add a static attachment. So you will see some options here that aren't actually scopes. Like the first attachment here, the ballistic shield. This thing will actually grant you some damage resistance when you have it equipped. Additionally, there is a semi-functional set of iron sights here. They're not supposed to be amazing. They're really supposed to be an homage to the Halo turret but they do sort of work. They wouldn't be functional in real life at all, but they're pretty functional in game. Of course, we have the vanilla gunner sight, but we also have the addition of a new reflex sight by Pig, which does have a proper reticle and some cool technological gubbins using the frame of the gunner sight as a base. And then finally, we have the heat shield, which is going to be reminiscent of that shoulder mounted machine gun yet again. Pair this with certain barrels and you have some really, really cool aesthetic changes. As of right now, this heat shield is just a visual change. However, I may add some stat bonuses at some point in the future. I haven't really decided how to do that yet. If you have any ideas, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And then sadly, that just leaves the muzzle category where all we have is the shredder. I really have no idea what to put here on account of the fact that it's really hard to make compatible muzzle devices for this weapon. And that's probably why there wasn't much here to begin with in the vanilla game. If I was to pair this shredder, it actually works with most of the barrels, but I don't know what kind of other attachments I could possibly do. That's where I would have put some maybe laser sights or a muzzle shroud, but all of the minigun barrels are so different even in the vanilla game that they just don't really work. So for right now, this is going to be left untouched. All right, now as for the Gatling laser, we do have a handful of really cool options. For the receiver section, we actually have not added anything as I think this area is pretty balanced already and I'm not quite sure what I would add to an energy weapon receiver anyways. However, we do have a good set of options for the barrel, sights, and muzzle. Starting off with the barrel section, we have the standard barrel, of course, which is four laser rifle barrels strapped together, and then Pig had come up with the accelerated barrel, which is going to be actually two of the laser rifle automatic barrels, but that ends up with six barrel devices altogether, which greatly increases the rate of fire, but decreases the damage a little bit. As for the heavy barrel we have here, this thing is based on the Fallout 3 style of Gatling laser barrel, which has been added into the Fallout 4 Gatling laser barrel, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. Then we have the supercharged barrel, which is going to be a callback to the Fallout 1 and 2 Gatling laser. And I think this one looks pretty cool as well with the nice coiled metal and the uh, little caution tape here, which was added by me. I think it looks really, really cool when it is spinning. Then we have the charging barrels, which are vanilla, and then the heavy charging barrel, which is one gigantic sniper barrel from the laser rifle, which has the slowest fire rate, but the highest damage, turning this thing into almost a sort of Gatling laser sniper rifle in its functionality. It's really interesting. It's pretty decent at range and does a lot of damage, so it's pretty cool. Then for sights, we have one new option, which is the laser sight, which, believe it or not, there's actually a built-in laser sight on the Gatling laser, and that's down here. All we did was add the actual laser beam from it, and you know, with all of my mods, all of the laser sights are completely functional and can be aimed with, so that's pretty fun with this weapon. And then for the muzzle section, we have a few new options. In the base game, you only have the option for no muzzle, and the beam focuser here but now we also have a beam splitter which is a really cool nif bash model that came from mikolov so thanks to mikolov for letting us use that and then we also have the gyro compensating lens just like the laser rifle which has been now refitted for the gatling laser and then we have a version of the magnetron which you should have seen in our laser rifle update video. This will make it so that the weapon shoots out bursts of energy instead of laser beams. And it's pretty cool looking whenever you have this thing going in full auto. 
So yeah, that is all of the attachments so far implemented into the attachment pack when it comes to the Gatling laser and the minigun. There are a couple of things that need to be tweaked, like I talked about earlier, the textures on the minigun parts. Some of them may need to uh, have their shininess reduced a little bit. Additionally, there will be a laser sight available for the minigun that has not been added yet, but it will be added soon. As far as you guys are concerned, if you have any ideas for the minigun and Gatling laser, feel free to leave them down in the comments. As always, if there's any good ones, we'd happily pick them up and throw them into the mod. As of right now, though, these weapons are feature complete, so if we don't take any suggestions, what you see today will definitely be in the final release pack. I'm sure something you guys would like to know is what we're going to do moving forward. One of the first things I plan to do is go back to some of the old attachments and either rework them or remove them, specifically in regards to a couple of the 10mm and revolver attachments, something that I think most people shouldn't have a problem with. They were attachments that weren't really well received in the first place, and as of now, I don't really like them either. After that, we need to move on to a new weapon, and I'm having a lot of fun with energy weapons, so we may stick with that. One of the things we need to do is move a lot of the laser rifle parts over to the laser musket, and that one should be pretty easy to do, so you may see that pretty soon. And then additionally, we need to do the institute weapons, as we have a ton of really cool Nifbash Institute resources, thanks to Mikolov. So stay tuned, we may have another update very soon with even more energy weapon parts. After those, it's back to ballistic weapons, and I think I want to do the lever action next. So that would be a whole lot of fun to work on, and I have quite a few ideas that I'd really like to get in the game. With that, though, I think that wraps up this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. These updates are a lot of fun to do, and they're typically pretty well received by you guys. So stay tuned for a new one coming very, very soon here in the next couple of weeks with even more updates to the attachment pack. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. Big shout out to all of my patrons for supporting every single video. And of course, a very special thank you to Avian4, Captain Chaos, Glasma, Helljumper, Indecisive Wolf, Cushy, Logan Rigmaiden, Microhan, Moonlit Gamer, Feed, Scott, Steven, Timmy76, YouthRC, and Voider for joining that Tier 3 Patreon membership. If you'd like to support the channel over on Patreon, you can do so using the link down in the description, but it is completely optional. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace!